Hey guys, Jordan here with Henix Kin Gaming, and today I'm doing a Photoshop tutorial on how to create customized Injustice iOS cards on Photoshop, pretty much. Anyway, let's get into this. I don't know what I'm saying. What you're going to need is obviously Photoshop, a Facebook account so you can get into my group, which will be down in the description, so you can get a picture of a default um blank card screen that I've previously made and there's a bug on my finger so here we go today I'm going to be doing spider-man it's not going to be perfect just for the purpose of purposes of the video I'm just going to do it fast so got my three pictures that I'm going to need and going to open up photoshop now and here we go okay so you if you don't have photoshop you might be able to use paint but it won't be as good so yeah and everything that i do in this video you might have a better way of doing it so just do that i am far from an expert at photoshop so yeah let's just get into this okay i'm gonna go up here file open and i'm gonna open in my desktop i'm gonna open just to start i'll just open up these three pictures that i've got waiting Oh, that's really tiny. Luckily, I've got the other one. And this one. And I'll just open up the other ones that I've got on here. Okay, where is it? In Photoshop Picks. Okay, so this is the default card thing that I was talking about, which is... I think it's up here. Here we go. Okay, so we've got this here. And we're ready to start. Okay, so once you've got your character off Google who you want to have, this is what you're going to do. Okay, just so you know, holding Alt and scrolling up and down goes into the picture. And yeah, there's something that you might not know. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get Quick Selection Tool. And that'll be able to go around the Spider-Man. And then if you hold Alt on Windows, I don't, I'm not sure what it is on um, Mac, and you go around the inside, that'll just take away the inside so you can get around it. And then you keep holding Alt and you just go like that. And then you're going to go like this once you've gone all around it and you're pretty happy with the result. Blah, 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 done all of that, gone around your character. You're going to go up here to layer, you're going to go smart objects, convert to smart object, layer, again, raterize, smart object, I have no idea why I do this, but I just find it works, and make sure again that it's all good, and then you're going to hit delete, and that'll make a transparent background, do it all on this side as well, blah 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 blah, and then you have your character ready to go, but I'm not going to be using that one, because I've got a bigger one here, that I'm going to use, and he's kind of cut out, but it's kind of, this is kind of a fail picture. I should have gotten a better one, but there was actually no good ones. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to hit this one up here, the one that's like a box. And I'm just going to select the whole picture. If he's like this big, then just select him. And I'm going to hit Control-C. That'll copy it. I'm going to go into this one here my blank pick and I'm going to go control V and that'll bring him in there. Now I'm just going to come up to this one here, this icon thing. Make sure I've got him on my layer. And I'm going to hit control T and then I am able to shrink him down. Now I'm just going to hold shift and bring him down so he stays the same around about shape. I'm going to do it again just so he gets a little bit smaller. And I'm going to chuck him right in the middle here. So that looks about good. I could probably make him a little bit bigger. And then just cut out some of them. Actually, no. Nah. That'll be good. And so there we go. Gonna hit Control D to deselect him. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna hit Enter. And there he goes there. And his hand has really failed. But that's fi that's fine. I guess. Now, as you can see, I've got this box here. 
I've got two layers now. I've got my background and the Spider-Man layer. Now we're going to chuck in the names and the passives and moves. Okay, let's get into this. So you're going to come down here and click the text. And then you're going to go around about where your name is going to be. And we're going to hit just there. Now I've got my font at TWCNMT. I don't really know what that is, but um, yeah, I don't really know what it is. So here we go, I'm just going to type in my name now, and I've got it at regular, not bold italic or bold italic. Um, 48 point, and make sure it's bl white, actually. Make sure it's white, and I'm going to type in the name right here, and looks sort of like um, the Injustice font. And just to make it a little bit more like it, I'm just going to hit Control T again. And I'm going to go, I'm going to make it a little bit thinner, like, or whatever that is. And I'm going to make it higher and thinner. Actually, I'll just keep it like that. Now that looks good enough, so I'm going to hit Enter on that. And that's made us another layer called Spider-Man, so... You could probably make it better than that, just fiddling around with it, whatever you think's best. Um, so now I'm going to come down to the passive. Now I've got a Word document open, what the moves and stuff are. So the passive is called Spidey Senses. I can't remember who gave me the names for the passive and moves, but credit to whoever, whoever commented on my post in Hunix Gaming Group. So we're going to bring the uh, thing back down to size back down to 18 and actually check it there and it's going to be spidey senses okay looking good i'm gonna go back onto this one up here i'm gonna hit Control t on that make it higher and thinner looking good and we'll chuck that in the middle About right. Hit Control D on that. Nope. Uh, why do I keep thinking Control D? Enter. There we go. Got our passive in there. That could probably go in the block up. That looks good. Okay, now we're going to chuck in our other, our first move. So, what's our first move going to be called? Web Crush. So, where are we going? This one. Okay, so I'll chuck in the names for our first move, second move, and last move, and then when we get to our symbol, I will come back to you, just to save a little bit of time. Okay, guys, so I've got my names in for the moves now. Now I'm going to chuck in my spider logo. So I'm going to go into my rectangle marquee tool, and I'm going to make sure the whole thing is selected. It's kind of going along the lines there, but there you go. All selected. All the way around, Control C to copy it, go back onto this, Control V to paste it. And we're going to go back onto our Move tool and Control T to size it down. Holding Shift and going in from the corner to make it smaller evenly. Alt and scrolling to zoom in. Going to make sure that's in the middle, just make it down a little bit more. Looks pretty good. And it looks pretty good right there. That looks fine. Enter. And there we go. That's probably it. So his arm is a bit failed and his foot is also a bit failed. But it turned out alright even though I was just really rushing it. Um, but anyway. This is. I would really like to see your guys versions of making them. Um, this is how you save it is compatible to upload it to my facebook group i'm going to go file save as and make sure it's a jpeg so i'm going to name that spiderman pick and that's all good and then just make sure it's saved as a photoshop file 
so you can come back and edit it whenever you want. So, that's probably going to have to be it for this episode. No, this isn't an episode. For this video, if it helped you in any way, or if you liked it, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, see you later.